Okay, I want to create an updated uh, video here for um, QuickBooks Label Connector um, by AccuWare to show uh, invoice mode. Uh, we call it multi-mode, but really it's becoming sort of multifunctional mode. Um, but uh, there's been a, quite a few features added, so let's let's go through just the latest um, sort of dynamics of what can be done with printing labels using invoice data from Label Connector. Now, pretty much everything I'm showing you for features here is also true for pulling data out of sales orders, but just for demonstration purposes, uh, we'll start with an invoice. Um, so, um, here I just want to uh, backpedal here quickly and just show you, so here's an invoice that we sort of prepared with five line items on it with quantities. Um, we've got description, uh, unit of measure values, um, different things that you might want to put onto your label showing up here. Uh, sales order number, PO number, uh, due date, ship date, customer, ship to address, invoice number, things like that. Transaction date of the invoice itself. Um, so uh, this kind of shows you an overview of the invoice itself. Um, the template that we're going to produce labels for, uh, again, with Label Connector you can print to any uh, label design created in Bartender. So um, in here uh, we're kind of showing you here, I'll, I'll pull up the data source names here on this label so you can see these are all the values from QuickBooks that I can pull in dynamically to this label. Some of these I've just got here as fixed data, like the actual letters of QBSO, that's just showing you that that's where the sales order number is going to go. Uh, but the value next to it is dy dynamic. Same with this shape, you can pull in logos, things like that. All the fixed information, like the word two here, isn't going to change, so that's fixed data. But anything that we're pulling in dynamically from QuickBooks, you can see here shown with their um, variable names so that our program knows how to pull the data out of QuickBooks uh, to deliver data to the label. Um, so in the label connector, uh, what you simply do is you put that invoice number in that we uh, had just shown previously. It pulls the data up. Now I've got the settings set right now. There's two ways to, to drive the quantities of labels to print. Um, here I'm, I'm actually, some people say, well, we just want to print one label for each line item on the invoice. Or some people say we want to print um, the quantity from the invoice as the quantity of labels to print. Here, uh, just you know, for demonstration purposes, I have one of each of these line items to print. But let's go ahead and um, we'll show you the invoice settings. Uh, I can change this to default uh, to make the quantity to print equal to the invoice quantity. Um, we can also do things like divide by a value uh, in a custom item field so that if you're packaging things and you want to divide by some preset value you could set that up in your item custom fields so we can do some smart division of how many labels to print but that's a separate feature so let's go ahead and save that um, and then we'll requery uh, the order information now you can see the label print quantity is equal to the invoice quantity um, so we're just going to print this to a, uh, a printer that just makes a file that we can see. Uh, let's pull up and print to that uh, demo PTW file that I showed you earlier with all of those dynamic fields. Uh, and just so that we're not printing too many, just for demonstration purposes, let's just go ahead and just print the quantity 5 from this first line item. Now, in line here, what you could do is, if you wanted to, you could change or edit the label quantity to print to do miscellaneous quantities. Um, you could uh, also vary the value of the quantity on the label to appear. And then you can also uh, change the value um, in an intelligent way. If this was uh, a quantity of 100, we could divide by the divide, uh, you know, the factors of 100 to print 10 labels of 10 or five labels of 20, but that's what these plus minus keys do, is they can intelligently give you the factors of the invoice quantity uh, for the label to print, and amount of labels to print as well. But So uh, we can edit the value for the quantity to print for each line item, and the quantity to appear on the label 
right in line here. So, um, you, and you can select and uns unselect certain you know uh, items off of the invoice. So let's go ahead and uh, produce this one particular one. So we'll just print to make a, a local file here on the computer that we can view um, just to see the results of the printing. And so we'll create a new file here in the desktop directory. And let's go ahead and view that file. And you can see here we've pulled in the ship address for that particular invoice, uh, the invoice number, uh, the purchase order that was associated to the invoice. Um, I don't think we had a sales order number populated in the screen yet, so that didn't pull in, but we can pull in the sales order that originates the invoice or the sales order that um, is populated into the screen. A quantity on label, in this case we just won, but you know you could make that be a value. The description for the item, um, the actual item itself from QuickBooks, um, which is probably the most popular thing. And we could barcode that as well, so you could barcode the QuickBooks item and put that on here. That's a feature in Bartender. Um, we pulled in the other, other one value from the line item, so just to show you we do support other one and two, the invoice date, the ship date, um, so, and, and again, this is a, just a subset of, of many of the fields that we do support for invoice-based printing. So you can see we printed the quantity of five for that item because that's how many of that item were on the invoice. So this would have produced five labels uh, for that 1000-MC uh, QuickBooks item. So just an overview, again, of some of the more current features. Again, these features are the same in originating from sales orders, invoices. Um, most of these features are also supported for uh, printing out of using your existing purchase orders and item receipts. Thanks and uh, stay tuned for more, more updates from AccuWare.